okay and so also i have some roses they're closed but about time i start putting my arrangement together they will open a little bit okay and that's what i want i want it to open just a little bit also you want to make sure you look up on your ceiling to make sure you don't have any damages any type of water damages you want to also see the lighting of how much lighting you have transfer side onto um, the ribbon is still here so I'm gonna show you after I iron this then I usually just peel it off like this okay and now you have your thank you on your ribbon okay and now I'm going to show you how I fold my towels. Just a little bit in here. Okay, so I have a towel like the other towels. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to turn them, turn it over like this. Okay, like I'm going to fold it, but I'm not. this is your girl Zenobia and again welcome to my channel I know you're probably wondering why I am sitting in front of this hotel this hotel is called home to suites in Tampa Florida and I'm here to set up for another family reunion so guys I would like for you to come along and watch me set up for this event for three consecutive days okay well I think you probably won't see everything because this particular organization or family reunion is kind of private so you will get to see the decor but maybe not the name of the family okay so with further ado guys i would like for you to subscribe to my channel like share and hit that notification bell so i can bring you more videos in the future so with further ado guys let's get started Okay, guys, so as you can see, we are in the event room and we're setting up for the event for Friday night. And Friday night will be the tailgate party. And it's kind of like a game time event where um, 
the family will come together and wear their favorite jersey or favorite sports team. And as you can see, my husband has already set up his backdrop for, well, kind of like screen, uh, movie screen. Uh, we basically gonna have like movies showing, uh, sports, sports events showing while the guests enter into the room. And I will be setting up um, a backdrop for pictures and it's gonna have balloons on it. It's just a colorful little backdrop just for them to take, you know, photos. And other than that, um, guys, um, we will start this night off and with a bang, okay? And um, another thing um, about this room, as you can see to my left, um, the room overlooks the city of Tampa, which is a very good view. Um, the manager of the hotel gave us the opportunity to come into the room and set up the day before. So this is kind of like Thursday evening. Um, usually um, event managers do not allow you to set up, but um, we have a good relationship with them. So um, they allow us to come in after work and come here and set up so that it will be easier for us when we come here Friday evening to just set up the food okay guys so just watch us set up and hopefully uh, you take something out of this but I thought this was a good idea to have tailgate night on the first night okay Okay guys, so as you can see, I am continuing to prep for my backdrop by blowing up these balloons from Simpertex. I also have um, party woo balloons as well. I love party balloons, any type of party balloons. It doesn't matter the brand because, you know, whatever color you need, you can look at any of the brands and you can get those colors, okay? But I have to say that Simper Text is a better quality balloon. Um, they're easy to blow up, they're easy to tie, and you don't have to worry about um, them popping right away. Party wool balloons, uh, maybe. But that's okay because, hey, it depends on what type of event that you're actually prepping for. Okay?
Okay, guys, so this was the end of the night. It was actually a little bit after nine, and the hotel manager informed us that we had to leave the room. So I will continue this backdrop the next day, and I will show you the results of that. Okay, guys, so this is the final results, and as you can see, the kids actually demolished the backdrop and so I had to remove the inflatable football on this side but hey it's a party so who cares Okay guys, so we are back at the house and I am going to continue to prepare my gift baskets for our hotel stay families. Okay, so as you can see, I have a thank you towel and washcloth set and I'm going to show you um, the whole entire basket so first and foremost um, I have the towels and the washcloths the face cloth in red and white and then behind this I have body wipes for facial makeup or anything like that um, behind there I have chocolate chip cookies I have Cheez-Its and then I have um, some Vaseline cocoa butter lotion and Weathers uh, original hard candies. And then I have the Japanese cherry blossom sash sachet. And this is excellent to put in your clothes, in your um, with your socks and your underwear. Or you can just leave it out because it smells so good. I know that some people actually put these under their pillow. And then they take it out when they get ready to go to sleep. And also bottle water um, for them to drink late at night. But yes guys, I put this together just to show my appreciation for them staying at the hotel. And just booking a room period because rooms these days are very expensive okay so um, this is something that you really want to do for your guests and I'm going to show you how I actually put this together the washcloth and the hand towel set okay so first of all um, I have uh, seven eighth red silk ribbon okay and I have the thank you here that I actually made from Cricut and I still have the label which is a transfer tape and as you can see I took the transfer tape off and that will be your thank you on your ribbon next I'm going to show you how I actually fold my towels Okay, so I'm going to use the red one first, and I'm going to fold it, and then I'm going to take the bottom of the towel and fold it halfway, and then fold it back down. Okay, so if you can see how I'm doing this, and then I'll take my hands and I'll rub it across. Now, you want to have a tab under here. Okay, like another fold. So just open it up and you can see you have a fold. Okay. Next, you want to turn it over. Now you're going to bring both sides inwards towards the middle. And you want to make sure that it's even.
Now I'll take a pearl pin and I will be joining this together and pinning it down with my pearl pin. I love pearl pins because they give off a, a classy look. Now you have to be careful with these pins, okay? You do not want to stick anyone, so you have to make sure that you put the pins in in the right way so you see I'm folding this down and I'm gonna take this pin and I'm gonna go upwards not downwards but up see I'm pinning it upwards okay and you want to make sure you get the towel that's under your top towel in that pin okay So we might have to come back here and make sure that it's nice and tight. So next thing, we're going to take our face towel. Okay, and I'm going to take the, <laughs> the tag off. Okay, so next we're going to fold it down like, I, like you see here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring in the sides to the middle. Now, what we're not going to do, we're not going to pin this down. We're just going to take it and we're going to tuck it in. to make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, so next we're going to take our thank you ribbon and we're going to tie it around the set now we want to make sure that both sides are even okay so we're gonna make sure that's even and we want to do a bow so we're going to do a bow now when you do your bow, you want to make sure that the ribbon is flat, okay? And then you want to make sure that when you tie in the ribbon, you don't want to put a knot, okay? You just want to do a simple bow because you don't know what type of guests you might have and you don't want them to struggle with trying to get a knot out of a bow but the most important thing when you're tying a bow is to make sure your thank you is showing Okay, so lastly, you want to make sure that you finish your bow by cutting it at the bottom to make sure it's uniform with all of the other sets. So I just cut downwards and put a nice little finishing on the bow. Okay guys, so as you know, it's all about the guests. And here is the final result of the hospitality baskets. And another thing guys, I forgot to tell you about the room spray 
that's located in the front of the baskets. You can see them down there next to the Vaseline. And I purchased these room sprays from Ross. Okay, guys? So, thank you, and thank you for watching. But let's continue. Okay guys, so here I am at the haul and I am so excited. As you can see, I have already put up my first cluster of gold balloons and now I am going to continue with this backdrop. Okay, so like I said earlier guys that this particular family reunion is private. And that's okay because you can just see the decor that I'm putting together and just watch as I continue. Okay guys, so I failed to mention that I am setting up this backdrop and, you know, decorating the hall and everything while everyone is at the park, okay? So the cookout is going on right now and the families are enjoying themselves as I come here to the hall to complete the setup over here. So, yes, guys, so this is day two, and then we have one more day, and I don't think I'm going to be recording that day because that particular day is for church services and a brunch, so I'm not going to bring any cameras in the church, and I'm not going to record anything at brunch, so just know that this is a three-day event. Okay, guys. Okay guys, so um, this is one of the time in my project where my backdrop start moving and um, I had another backdrop behind it so that you cannot see through the backdrop that I have and here come my husband to the rescue. Um, he had to actually put down weights so that the backdrop would not move and this is very important guys when you're doing a backdrop. You want to bring some weights, whether it's water weight or steel weights or whatever it is so that um, your backdrop don't fall, okay, so it won't move. Because people tend to stand up against it or move it not knowing, but you don't want your whole display coming down because someone is trying to take a picture and your backdrop is moving. Okay guys, so let's continue. Okay guys, so I have a tip for you. When you are using 260s, please make sure you are using white when you have clear and white balloons. Okay, so just wanted to give you that tip. Okay, let's continue.
Okay guys, so this is the final results of my backdrop. And as you can see, the left side of this is kind of like a little messed up. There were others that came before me and yes, they were taking pictures and they did not know that the curtain was moving, but that's okay because it's absolutely beautiful. And so guys, as I was setting this up, I was also setting up the dining room. And I'm going to take you on a little tour of what I have done. Okay guys, so let's go. Okay guys, so I don't want to miss this, but we had two backdrops and this particular backdrop was the family gift tree. And as you can see, I have the thank you gifts on the table for the family to pick up. Okay guys, so this is the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching Zenobia of Decor. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. I will see you later. Bye-bye.